Both my babies together. Ready? One, two, three, cheese. Lexington mom Nikita Jennings admits she takes too many photos with her iPhone. Cheese. Look at your Elmo birthday cake. Do you remember your Elmo cake? Mm. Did you eat that? Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. With more than 2,000 photos on her phone right now, the proud mom of two year old twins. Sophie and Riley considers this gadget her memory keeper. You kind of get wrapped up in the whole, oh yeah, everybody's updating their Facebook status. Everybody's posting a picture of their kids. I want to post a picture of my kids. But it's the posting, the sharing, the tweeting that should be worrisome to parents. And the danger can't be seen in these photos. Say you take a picture of your child at daycare, the potential for someone taking that GPS coordinate off of that picture and determining where that daycare is located is very good. It's called geotagging. Because GPS software is required by law for all cell phones, the photos you take can be tracked too. I think some people do know it exists, but they think it's so cool that they can geolocate where they are and then throw it out there on the internet. They're not concerned with consequences of what somebody that's deceptive may do with that information. Cyber crimes investigator Catherine Reed shows us just how simple geotagging is. If you use Google Earth Street View, you can take that GPS coordinate and it can show you exactly on the map where you were at at the time the picture was taken. A computer nerd or a computer novice, the reality is anyone can do this. Take a look at this photo sent to us from a friend, a fairly unrecognizable location. After downloading a program, copying some of the data, and putting it into Google Earth, we can be at the location of this photo as quick as we could drive here. Smile. If I just uploaded even a picture of my kids sitting in front of my couch or in front of the TV, they could find out where we were and what we were doing at that time and place, you know, and something, heaven forbid, happened because of that. But the good news here is that you can protect yourself. Any program will not have that GPS tagging in there, so no one will know where you took it. Great, perfect. For Nikita's iPhone 3, to so hit reset warnings, we had to restart the security prompts to turn off geotagging. For other phones, it's a simple option under your general settings. Each phone is different. But as your phone gets smarter in this high tech age, go Josh. Go, Josh. go Josh, that's it, the UK game. Take a moment to protect the memories that matter most. Oh, wow.